think it was when I went to a meeting uh, that was deciding whether the county would go for STPS, is the thing about the National Health Service, uh, hospitals being closed, the a and &E for Oxford having to take on extra bits of Buckinghamshire and Berkshire. Obviously, it's already under pressure. We know they had to close all the operations. For a week, wasn't it? Because the a and &E was oversubscribed. And yet, it's going to be more under pressure with this. I realised at that time, actually, although I was thinking, well, there's nothing we can do about it, that actually, at county level, we can do something about it. They could have said, no, we think this is unviable. You know, just to say it, it needed to be said at county level. The other meeting that I went to, which showed what you could do at county level, was about divestment from fossil fuels. And the county, under pressure from Greenpeace and some of us, have actually inserted a clause that there will be ethical considerations for any investment that they have from now on for their pensions. So that means, you know, nothing like nuclear and other things like that. So I think that's significant. Um, for me, it's these county issues that matter. It matters even about education, that our schools are sort of near to the bottom of the list of schools nationally. Isn't that a disgrace when you have this university here? And what's happening about the schools? They're being run by some woman somewhere that doesn't know anything about it, really. Is that Melinda Tilly? Yeah. I think that's the time. Anyway. A climate change denier. Yeah. Um, I have, I mean, I do think we need to be looking at these things. And for highways, we understood when I was city councillor, it suddenly was obvious that actually the city was just, the county was just interested in getting their people to flow into the city easily and freely. I mean, hence the big roundabouts, which okay, have made things much easier for them. But the thing that they didn't want to do was a pedestrian crossing to help the children in one part with lots of houses crossing to the schools on the other half with a busy road in between. And I talked with Ian Hudspeth then because I was chair of the East Area Committee. And he said, oh, well, we'll have to wait for a fatality. And I said, no, don't let me do it. <laughs> so, so I did and I moved, I pushed him very gently and very nicely because I believe in the sun rather than the wind, actually. And we got him to agree. And we got our crossing. And it's there. And every time I drive past and I see children in the island in the middle, I think, good, I'm glad about that. And we got several crossings on the Ifley Road that was quite, they were very reluctant to put any of them because it does slow traffic down, but it didn't. And anyway, we want the traffic slowed down, really, around us. The pollution levels are awful. I mean, I've looked at them and I've given talks uh, to people from Singapore about Oxford. Uh, and I've looked at the pollution levels and looked at the fact that we should have informed our residents that the pollution levels were way over European de uh, the guidelines. And one of the conditions we should have got rid of that uh, you know, extra pollution by last year, and if we weren't able to get rid of it, we should have told our residents that was part of it. This is the EU. Uh, now we're going to have to watch out. We're going to have to do the policing. It was going to court the pollution, over pollution of cities. St. Clements had the highest pollution. St. Clements, Weirs Lane were high pollution spots. It's not surprising with St. Clements. It's, it, it is a problem, and we have to look at it. I suggested to my residents in St. Clements, why not just have the park and ride buses going to the park and ride and all the airport and the London buses going from there. But some of the residents said, no, we like having our bus stop at the end of the road. I have been a councillor that likes to listen to the residents, but I think there may come a point where we have to try and push the green agenda a bit more. We did about the Cowley Road in the past. Um, I think people are actually, as David said, ready to leave Labour. The number of them that have said to me, well, normally I, I vote Labour. 